is Mina and today I am in Celia. Okay, so here's the plan. First, I'm gonna take a walk through Celia teeny tiny city center. Second, I will visit Celia Regional Museum. And in the end, I will visit Celia Castle. I'm headed towards Regional Museum of Celia to see how Celia looked like in Roman times. Celia, a town beneath this town, is an archaeological exhibition in the basement of the Court of Princes. It is the largest presentation of the remains of the Roman town Celia, which was called Celia. I'm standing in the middle of Roman Street. Celia Castle was built in 12th century, but rebuilt many times after that. Among others, it was home to Counts of Celia. They were one of the most powerful noble families in Europe. The history of Counts of Celia was described so well because of the chronicler 
who basically lived with them. He even slept in the same room. His shelves were full of interesting stuff. He had lots of paper rolls, raw material to make ink, and bone goggles to see really small letters. are the only known medieval chronicles of modern-day Slovenia which were undoubtedly interesting to read and have been preserved in at least 17 manuscripts. Did you know that in 15th century fork wasn't found yet? They ate with spoon, knife and hands. Behind me is the oldest part of Castle Celje. Today you can get married here. As you can see, here is an amazing view of the city. the son of mighty Henry II, got imprisoned in this tower by his father. His father got mad at him because Friedrich got rid of his wife and married his beloved Veronika de Senishka. In his father's eyes, Veronika de Senishka was not suitable to be Friedrich's wife that is why Henry II drowned her. Legend says that Friedrich was saved from certain death by his squire, who dug the underground tunnel which he used to bring food to his imprisoned lord. One night, a farmer came to the castle bringing important news to Count Ulrich. When he came to the courtyard, he heard the voice asking questions. Where is my land? Where is my castle? And who am I? He approached to the well and in the well he saw Count Ulrich standing in the water, but his body was butchered. Since then, no one ever dared to get water from this well again, so that is why they closed it forever. Legend says that before Count Ulrich headed to battle, his lady saw a black crow. She warned the Count not to go away because she saw a black crow and that means bad luck. But he didn't listen and he went anyway. During his battle in Belgrade he saw the same crow as his lady at home. While he was watching him one of his enemies stabbed him. That was the sad end to his life. Now I'm going to see the theater of horror. For all the heavy metal fans, this is the original Iron Maiden. has metal points inside which pierced 
human body without damaging the vital organs, which cost a lot of pain. Old Castle Celje also offers medieval feasts, guided tours, counts welcome, offers you becoming a knight with an unforgettable ritual or rent of the whole castle. From April to October you can witness live medieval history including archery, sword fighting, armory and meet characters from that time. So at this point I have to wrap my video up. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please press thumbs up. And if you would like to know more about Slovenia, you can sign up below. Thanks, bye!